Since it was created at the start of the last century, the Giro d'Italia has been capturing the imagination of the cycling public. The story begins at 2.53 in the morning on the 13th of May 1909, when 127 brave souls took to the start line of the very first race. It would take the field two days to complete the opening stage from Milan to Bologna. Eventually, just 49 riders would complete that first odyssey. But the Giro was up and running, and there would be no going back. Only two world wars would ever halt the great race. The Giro d'Italia became one of the country's great unifying features, connecting cultures and customs in a nation still trying to come to terms with its own identity less than 50 years after unification. Created by a national sports paper, tales of epic feats of endurance and endeavour over startling landscapes were devoured by a public hungry for heroes. And heroes were what they received. Constante Giadengo and Alfredo Binda dominated the 1920s with seven wins between them. Gino Bartali and Fausto Coppi's rivalry remains the greatest ever in Italian sport. Fiorenzo Manni, a triple champion. Felice Giamondi and Eddie Merckx define the 1960s and 70s, while Francesco Moser and Giuseppe Soroni battled in the early 80s. Then Bernard Hinault and Miguel Indurain left their mark. More recently, we remember Mario Cipollini's record 42 stage wins, while Marco Pantani's 1998 triumph defines a career and life cut tragically short. And as well as the riders, there are the epic climbs that have had to be tamed. Gavia, Motirolo, Stelvio and Zoncalan. As the 97th Giro d'Italia commences this week, the question is, who will be the latest heroes to write their names into the fabric of La Corsa Rosa?